In 1784, a young Napoleon Bonaparte, far from his native Corsica, found solace in the written word. Instead of longing for Corsican delicacies, he yearned for the history of Corsica by Boswell and other tales related to his homeland. This seemingly innocuous request to his father reveals Napoleon's deep-rooted fascination with Corsican history and its romanticized portrayal in literature, a paradise. Napoleon's reverence for Corsica stemmed from its portrayal as an idealized, glorified, yet lost paradise. Oppressed by conquerors ranging from Phocians to Genoese, Corsica had been under the yoke of France since 1768. Despite this, Napoleon remained faithful to Pasquale Paoli, his mentor and Corsican hero, envisioning a liberated Corsica under Paoli's guidance. As a young man in Brienne, Napoleon idolized Paoli and viewed Corsica as a land of political perfection ensuring wealth, peace, and harmony. His naive idealism was fueled by literature and shaped by his hero worship of Paoli. However, Napoleon's aspirations extended beyond mere admiration. He planned to write a book on Corsican history to glorify its people and damn its oppressors. Yet Napoleon's ambitious project was never realized. Doubts about his literary talent and the realization of his role as a soldier rather than an ideologist led him to abandon the endeavor. Paoli, too, expressed skepticism about the timing of such a project, advising Napoleon that history is not written in one's youth. The dawn of the French Revolution in 1789 brought newfound hope and uncertainty. While few could predict the collapse of the Ancien Regime, Napoleon remained cautiously optimistic about Corsica's fate. However, his optimism was tempered by apprehension for his homeland amidst the revolutionary fervor sweeping through France. Following the fall of the Bastille, Napoleon's attention turned to tending to his family's affairs, hoping the revolution's outcome would favor them. Yet his regiment's stationing in Oxen kept him from the epicenter of revolutionary activity in Paris. Despite this, thoughts of Corsica consumed him, prompting a revisit to its history. Napoleon's disillusionment with Pauli grew as he discovered Pauli's allegiance with the English, contradicting Napoleon's republican ideals. He began publicly sharing his thoughts and opinions as a member of a local political clubs, advocating for radical, liberal, anti-clerical ideals and pushing for democratization. As the revolution unfolded, Napoleon's involvement in Corsican politics deepened. He fervently supported the revolution, establishing patriot clubs and training volunteer forces for the Corsican National Guard. However, his aspirations collided with the resurgence of Pasquale Paoli, whose return reignited Corsican nationalism and complicated the Bonaparte's alignment with the revolution. Despite efforts to impress Paoli and integrate into the revolution, the Bonapartes faced opposition from Paoli's allies, hindering their political advancement. Napoleon's rejection as an officer in the National Guard and his brother Giuseppe's setbacks in local elections marked the challenges they encountered. As Corsica underwent reorganization, Napoleon's vision of autonomy within the new French system remained elusive. The complexities of Corsican politics amidst revolutionary turmoil underscored the enduring struggle for independence. Subscribe and join us on a journey through Napoleon's Corsican Odyssey, a tale of dreams of paradise, revolutionary tumult, and the quest for freedom in a changing world.